Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. So far, all of the descriptions of love in 1 Corinthians 13 are simple, even if they're not easy to do. But then Paul throws in a more complicated description of love. He says, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. So what does he mean by that? Usually when we don't understand something, we just move over it and forget about it. But there's a reason Paul puts this into the verse. No one really delights in evil. Maybe serial killers or dictators. But for the most part, we tend to think of everyone, especially ourselves, as good. But let's be honest, there are times when evil excites us. Revenge sometimes looks attractive. We are excited to hear and share gossip, and we run after lust. We laugh with our friends about disobedience, and breaking the law seems appealing. Have you ever been at school on a Monday morning and you've overheard your friends talk about what they did on the weekend? Things that they probably wouldn't say in front of their parents, a pastor, or even the police. That's what it looks like to rejoice in evil. And often, we run from truth. We don't want to know about what we did wrong. We want to keep our mistakes hidden. What Paul is trying to say is that if we love others, we won't celebrate evil. Why? Because celebrating evil encourages us and others to do it. And that leads to harm. He's also saying that if we love others, we'll embrace truth for us and for them. Because truth is good and it leads to freedom. Ultimately, what Paul is saying is that love celebrates godliness. Love celebrates godliness. Let's talk about it.